Hello, dosto. How are you all? I hope you guys are good. So, dosto, today topic is all about Ansible. In Ansible, we learn Ansible configuration files and setting, right? So, uh, before that, we get uh, we get started. If you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos. Now, let's jump right into Ansible configuration file and setting. Get it? So. Ansible is an open source automation tool that helps in managing and configuring system. It uses a declarative language called YAML, right? So, to define the desired state of a system, the Ansible configuration file, also known as Ansible.cfg. CFG, it means configuration, right? So, provide various settings and options to customize Ansible's behavior. Let's explore some key setting is in an ansible configuration file with real time example so first is inventory configuration so what is inventory file i'm already explained in my previous video what is this uh, actually i make a video on that topic right so if you not watch right so watch it and know about inventory files right so inventory configuration so the, the inventory file specifies the hosts or groups of host on which Ansible will run task, right? So you can configure the path to the inventory file, which is inventory setting in Ansible.cfg. It means configuration. So like a scenario where you have a group of web servers and a group of database servers, right? So that you want to manage using Ansible. So you use inventory, right? So, uh, so here, First, here is right like default, right? Uh, and then inventory and this is your path. Get it? So guys, next is remote user. So first I will explain what is remote user. So the remote user setting in Ansible allows you to specify the default user account to use when connecting to remote host. Get it? So this setting is particularly useful when you have multiple hosts uh, with different usernames, right? Or when you want to avoid specifying the remote user or each task or playbook. So let's say you have a group of web server that you uh, want to manage using ansible and the remote users for this servers right like my user so so uh, so to set the default remote user you can define in the ansible configuration file is so as follows get it next is connection type so ansible support different connection types such as ssh or local to connect to manage host uh, the connection setting specifies the default connection type to use right Let's say uh, you have a group of servers, right? And uh, um, you want to configure using Ansible. So you can specify the SSH connection type uh, in your Ansible playbook. And when the playbook is executed, Ansible will establish an SSH connection with each remote host and perform the required task, right? So such as installing packages, modifying configuration files, or starting services, right? So you using like remote, like connection and then SSH, get it? So those two next is playbook timeout. Okay, so what is this? I will explain, right? Suppose you have a playbook and that performs a series of tasks on multiple servers, such as deploying a new version of an application, restarting services and running health check site right? so uh, the playbook execution time can vary depending on the number of tasks server responsiveness and uh, uh, network condition right if you set a playbook timeout is 30 minutes it means that ansible expects the playbook to complete within that frame right so if any task within the playbook takes longer than the specified timeout, so Ansible will interrupt the execution and the mark the playbook as failed. Get it? So next is roles path. So what is roles path? I will explain. So like imagine you are a managing multiple web server in your infrastructure and each server requires a similar configuration. You can create an Ansible role called web servers, right? So that uh, 
encapsulate all the tasks, templates and files needed to configure a web server. The role can include uh, tasks like installing web server software, setting up firewall rules and deploying website files. Right. So to define the roles path in Ansible configuration file, you would specify the directory where your roles are stored. For example, like defaults and then role path is this. Get it? So uh, six is verbosity level. So what is verbosity level? So basically in Ansible, verbosity level refers to the amount of detailed output displayed during playbook execution. So it allows you to control how much information you want to uh, see the screen while running Ansible commands or playbook. Okay, let's verbosity is 2. So uh, what is basically verbosity is 2? So basically verbosity level 2, right? So it means ki at verbosity level 2, Ansible shows even more detailed output than level 1. So it display uh, the actual command being executed on remote host and provides additional context information, right? So this label is useful for troubleshooting or when you want to uh, closer look at the playbook execution get it so these are just a few example of settings that can be configured in ansible.cfg it means configuration by modifying the configuration file you can tailor any ansible to meet your specific requirements and preferments right so thank you all for watching this video to quickly recap we discussed in this video is ansible configuration files and settings right and in what is inventory configuration what is remote user what is connection types playbook timeout roles path and last one is verbosity label right so hopefully you find the information useful and learn something new if you have any questions or would you like to share your thoughts please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this we appreciate uh, your support and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and have a fantastic day